What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday, we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that are going to enhance your relationship, hopefully, and take it to the next level, which is a happy, positive level, right? And if you guys aren't in a relationship nowadays or right now, listen, this should hopefully give you guys some really some good things to do in that future relationship or hopefully help you guys get into a better relationship than you had in the past mm -hmm. and girls out there. So, all right. So this week, um, we want to cover something I think that every couple and every person have to deal with every day. You know what that is, right? Um, rats? No. Some um, people ain't got kids. Cats? Some people are allergic to cats. I am highly allergic to cats. If you ever want to kill me, <laughs> just give me a cat. No. So <laughs> the answer is stress. stress. Oh. Yes, that's right. Stress. You know, we all get good stress and we get bad stress. Mm -hmm. And especially couples, they have to deal with a lot more stress because they're dealing with each other's stress. And all the other things that are coming in each other's lives and they're bringing home and all that different stress that just piles up and everything that's going on outside with with this virus or Ugh. your job or the kids or the animals or whatever it may be. It might be the car broken down. Yeah. Right? It might be the stress of you wanting a promotion and, and, and stressing over it. Am I going to get this? Am I, gonna, am I doing everything right? Am I going to get this promotion? So... It's a big, big thing, right? And we all have to deal with stress, right? I don't care who you are, from the person that has zero dollars to the person that has billions of dollars, everybody is going to deal with some sort of stress in their life, good and bad. And we got to figure out how to deal with this stress. Yep. Because stress can affect a lot of things. It can affect your health. It can affect your relationship, right? Mm -hmm. It can affect your daily life. It can affect your job. It can affect all these different things out there. So... What do we do, right? What are we gonna do in this situation when we have stress? And let's let's talk about some examples along with this. So if you're in a, you're with a couple, right? You're in, you're in a relationship with somebody. Um, you have different jobs possibly, and you Usually. have stress in these jobs. Yeah. Whether you don't like your boss, or you got a project coming up that you have to really really work on, or whatever is going on. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You come home from your job and you have your partner right there. So at that point, you're probably complaining or talking about the bad things that happened at your job and trying to vent a little bit. And your partner should be there to listen to you about some of these venting things. Now, don't go overboard, right? Because you're going to exhaust them. You don't want to exhaust them too because they might have things that they deal with during the day and it might just be piling on top. But they're there to help you out to help release some of that stress. Mm -hmm. So each person is going to be dealing with this. Now, if you're in a couple or your relationship, how do you de-stress together? I right, because you should thing. do it together. I mean, people do their own thing to de-stress, yeah, right? Some people have different different you know, um, like things I, they do. I feel like some, you know, I, I still can't seem to wrap my brain around the whole like yoga meditation thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I ever mm -hmm. will be able to do that. Um, but I know people do things like individually to relieve yeah. their stress. You know, John, he likes to go to the gym. That's a stress reliever for him, right? Yep. So everybody has like their own thing, right? But you should find a way to de-stress together, right? Yeah. And sometimes it could be doing something where you guys are able to communicate, talk, get your mind off things, mm -hmm. maybe a dinner. Um, sometimes it could be not communicating at all and just being able to have a moment of silence. Usually for us, that's like a Netflix movie or something like that. Yeah. Some people that just can't shut up in a movie, you know, at home, then you take them to the theater and then they have to be quiet, right? Because yeah. then everybody's going to be like, shh, over there in the corner. So then they have to be quiet and everybody has to watch the movie. Right. Um, but, you know, definitely find a way to de-stress. I mean, miss couples massages we were talking about. So that, that was a good one out there, right? So you guys can go and do a couple's massage together, right? You guys are in the exact same room. 
Um, you guys are both relaxing together, um, you know, feeling that feeling of enjoyment, I guess, or, or relaxation that you might My be My only with. stress when we do couples massages is, is John happy with his massage? <laughs> and I think every once in a while I'll be like, hey, and we're still in the, you know, we're in a room together. Do you like your massage so far? <laughs> and of course, you know, this whoever's massage is like, okay, <laughs> right? are you really going to ask him this? Of course he's going to say yes. However, if you know your man good enough, you'll know if the yes means yes, this is a good massage, or yes, this is not a good massage. <laughs> so he's not going to say no, but, um, you know, maybe that opens up a little window for them to be like, more pressure, yeah. less pressure. Yeah. Did you want more footsies? Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever it might be. But, you know, this is how, you know, you get to know each other as far as being able to de-stress together. Right. It's a good one to be able yeah. to do the massages. If you can't go for the massage, what do you do? So if you, if you can't, if you're like, listen, we're strapped for cash. We can't do things like that we're not going to pay a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars whatever it is for the couple's massage that's fine that's cool listen you don't need the money to do it massage each other right take time you'll learn more about your partner's body their likes dislikes and what they like massage right and this tells a lot about the person like you can literally talk to them or you can be quiet whatever is best for you guys um, but you guys can enjoy that time together and you're helping each other de-stress. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's another bonding situation too. It's going to bring you guys closer because you guys are going to share this moment. You're communicating, maybe not with talking, but through your hands, yeah, right? Physically. Physically. And, and touching is a way to really become immediately connected to your partner. Mm -hmm. um, physical touch is a big thing out there, right? So you guys can do this and this costs no money whatsoever. All it cost is your time and your effort right and you should want to give that to your partner anyway and they should reciprocate right back to you it shouldn't be one way like hey give me a massage we'll do the couple massage oh <laughs> i'm done i feel great i'm, I'm tired gonna... see you guys i gotta go ya. bye and then that that's not that's not good right that just <laughs> adds more stress to you guys and what's going on um another way right is going to work out together now, some people are like, oh, I don't like going to work out, right? <laughs> I don't like training. I don't want to work out in the gym. I don't want to get sweaty, whatever, whatever, right? <laughs> well, there's different ways to exercise. It doesn't have to be in the gym. Now, I'm going to give the example of going to the gym. Um, you go to the gym. You work out together, right? You get those endorphins running, which automatically creates a high. So that's automatically going to help you out right then and there. You're de-stressing right there. It's it's a scientific fact. You will de-stress, right? And you're doing your body good. So it's like a triple ripple effect. Like mm -hmm. you're getting three things out of this, and your partner is sharing the time with you, right? So even if you guys aren't together doing the exact same machine, you guys are de-stressing together, and you guys are completing a task together, right? You guys are working out, so you guys are getting healthier together too as well. So this is a big one. Mm -hmm. um, and this doesn't have to be in the gym. So it could be you guys roller skating at the roller skating rink. Riding you know, bikes. Rock, rock climbing, you know, riding bikes, whatever it is. But you guys are being active and de-stressing that way. And mm -hmm. it's taking you guys' mind off of whatever is going on because there's a million things that are going to go on and a million things are going to affect you. Right. And right? that's everybody in the world nowadays. It is. I don't care who you are, you're going to have some sort of stress. Right. Um, and it is what it is. You just want to hopefully get rid of some of that bad stress, you know, because you're going to have good stress and bad stress. So try to get rid of it as best as possible. Don't let it keep piling up because this is when health issues can happen. This is when you start taking it out on people, and that could be your partner too because you're stressed out, um, you know, and, and that's what it is. Um, the other thing to help people de-stress, I think is another one is maybe cooking for each other, right? Some people like to cook for each other, that's a de-stressor. Mm -hmm. um, and some people like to eat. That's, you know, from them that's a de-stressor too. They're, they're emotional like to eaters. Eat. Mm -hmm. And now don't go overboard on the emotional eating. You don't want to do that because that's yeah. unhealthy. But you guys can enjoy a good meal together, right? And a good conversation. Put the, the phones aside, light a little candle, you know, <laughs> at that point, you know, it doesn't cost any money. You can go to the store and grab what you want to cook and make it at home. It makes it more personal. Um, it makes it show that you're putting in more effort too. And you guys can cook together. This isn't something where one person has to do all the work, cooking, you're cleaning up the dishes, you're setting all this up. No, do it together, right? Have a good, decent time together, good conversation. Don't talk about any of the stressful things. 
Right. Try to come up with other topics to talk about. Positives. I, it's hard sometimes, too. I mean, think about it. Even for me and John, right? It's really extra hard yep. for us to not talk about stressful things because I would say, like, every third sentence that we talk about either refers back to Titan, which we work together. Right. You know, it kind of just refers back to the stressful stuff that we are dealing with. Right. So then it opens up another conversation for whatever we're dealing with, and then we're back to square one. So, you know, you have to be able to talk about something different. So that's why we said put on, like, a show or a movie or something like that so you guys can talk about that or, yep. you know, laugh about something on the TV or whatever it might be. But yep. try to change the topic of conversation. It could be anything. Change Maybe the to topic. Anything. Yeah. Talk about something very positive. Maybe... You you guys got some event that's coming up that's going to be really cool and you guys can't wait to go to um you know maybe you guys can plan something during that talk too you, this is a good time to really you know maybe talk about some different things that you guys want to do together mm -hmm. um and that will create you know less stress hopefully right unless it's going to cost you a whole bunch of money and you don't want to do that <laughs> right so at that point think about some positive things and things that don't cost any money now if you don't care and you're like listen you know, I have some money to do some different things. There's a lot of different things that you guys can do to de-stress. Yeah. You uh, just have to be creative. Yeah. I mean, it's really thinking about it. Like, even if, you know, if you guys want to go to Top Golf, right? Maybe you guys don't know how to golf at all, and that's fine. All you guys are this doing is, embarrassing. is going to drive balls, right? You're going <laughs> to hit, you know, balls off of there. And that's fun, too. Like, really doing something like that. Even shooting guns. Yeah, I love shooting guns. So, some people do not like guns. Mm. We respect that opinion out yes. there. Some people do. And if you're in a safe situation, you know, you're in a gun you range, range yeah. you have people looking over you, there, there's nothing bad going on there, you guys might be able to like that. And you might like that together. You know, it really does feel good. That is a, a good de-stressor. Right? That's a good one. It really is. It, it, is it really one. is. And, and in the environment that we're in today, it's good to know how to protect yourself too. Mm -hmm. Males and especially females. That's okay. Me. Um, you know, you see all these crazy things that are going on in the world, too. And, and listen, it's it's okay, right? It's okay to have knowledge about guns, okay? And if you don't like them, I understand that. You know, Then you, you carry a knife, and you then we're all good. If you don't like weapons, I understand. I mean, there's pacifists out there. They, 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 listen, <laughs> they're totally against weapons, guns, war, and all this good stuff. Mm. Uh, and like I said, you got to respect that opinion. But most people, I think, you know, are scared of guns because they don't understand them. So when they go to the range and they get taught how to properly use a weapon uh, or be just firing off some shots, right? Yeah, it's then a de-stressor. It'll be fun. He's like, pow, pow. Like, wow, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, some people like to go shopping. Yeah, people do. What is it called? Uh, when you go, like, you shop because you need to de-stress. It's called something. Oh, you're talking about retail therapy. That's right. Retail therapy. Now, most of this goes to a girl, I think, at retail therapy. This is not right? true. I think I don't think guys, guys do this I don't too. think it gives them the excitement they to just shop, don't, right? No, they just don't realize they're doing it. They just do it. They don't call it whatever it's called. They yeah. just call it, I got to go get something from the store. <laughs> Right? It's not called retail therapy. They just got to say, I got to get something from the store. And that's the retail therapy, right? Yeah. You know, but even me, right? So think about, I'll use myself as an example in this situation, right? Retail therapy doesn't even apply to me anymore because I don't have time to go shop, right? Yeah. Literally, I don't have time for anything. So I don't have time to go shop. So I have to go online if I wanted to do retail therapy, right? And mm -hmm. my thumbs are rolling through, you know, whatever sites I'm shopping on, which I won't scroll, share with you scroll, guys. Scroll. But yeah, I'm shopping on all my sites, just adding things to the cart as much as I possibly can until my eyes start burning and then press, you know, buy. But, you know, it's, it's, everybody does de stress some way, somehow. You know, you can also do even a bathtub. You know, you could get in the bathtub nice. together and do a bath. Yeah. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to make it all fancy and do candles and all this fun stuff. You can throw some Epsom salt in the bath and be like, hey, listen, get in there. If I'm you want some bubbles, next. you can put some shampoo in there, right? In the water and it's going to bubble up. And then easily. have like, you know, you can even pop a bottle of champagne or something. I mean, even have like a, a cocktail in the bathtub some or something. Wine, something it like that. It could be anything it just yeah. to chill. Okay. Yep. Put on some music, whatever you guys like. Hopefully you guys like some sort of music together. Um, but you know, just try to decompress. It's a good one. I think a lot of people out there are very stressed. So at this point, de-stress together. Together. That's the point of this Cupid's Corner. So <laughs> we appreciate you guys tuning in every Sunday, watching me and Cherise and trying to help you guys out. Hope you guys like all the tips and tricks and things that we're shooting at you guys in these episodes. If you guys do, please keep supporting us. Write in maybe some different topics you guys want to hear about and we'll cover them live on here for you guys. So 
I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are done with our Cupid's Corner this week. We'll see you next week, 11 a.m. on ABC. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and our website. Check it out, www.titanmedicalcenter.com. Thanks, guys. See you then.